Uh, in this video I will be doing the probability distributions and talking about the different types of the discrete and the continuous probability distributions. Now before I proceed to the understanding of the probability distributions I want to make certain notations say for example like this x uh, probability of x now, uh, now this x over here uh, is is something that is called a random variable. And the p of x is the probability of x. Uh, so this is the probability of x. It's always greater than uh, 0. It will be always greater than 0. And the summation of the probability of x is going to be equal to 1. Now, uh, now let me go to the uh, the uh, uh, what uh, explanation of the probability dif uh, distribution. Now, the probability distribution is a listing of all the uh, possibilities of all the possible outcomes that could result in uh, uh, if the experiment is done. Now, let me write that for you. Mm, the probability distribution uh, is a listing of the probabilities of all the possible outcomes that could result that could result if an experiment result if an experiment is done now uh, in this case let me take an example of the uh, of when a coin is flipped twice say for example uh, let me note down the possible outcomes from two tosses uh, of a fair coin. Now uh, 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 let me take up the first toss and then the second toss. Now the uh, in the say for example if I get uh, the uh, I can get the outcomes like this tail and tail, I can get the outcomes like this tail and head, I can get the outcome like this head and head, I can get the outcome like this head and tail. So these are the set of the possible outcomes that can occur if the coin if a fear coin is tossed twice. No. Uh, uh, if I take the x variable, that x random variable as being the number of tails, so in this case uh, x is going to be the number of tails. Therefore the number of tails that could occur over here are 2, and here it's going to one, be 1, and here it's going to be 0, and in this case it is going to be 1. Now uh, this, ha this is this, uh, this uh, this is the scenario that when I conduct and when I run and when conduct an experiment, I come to know that uh, how many tails are going to occur uh, when I toss a when I make two tosses, two tosses of a fair coin. Now, from this, uh, I can build up the uh, I can build up the probability distribution. Now, uh, let me build up the probability distribution from this probability distribution. Now, since uh, I have been having uh, the zero tosses, one toss, and the two and the two tosses, uh, zero. Uh, I am having the zero outcomes of the tail, one outcome of the tail, and two outcomes of the tail. So there are three basic possibilities of the tails occurring. Therefore, the number of tails can be either a zero or a one or a two. Now. Uh, 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 when uh, when uh, when does the zero occur? It occurs when the two heads fall. So when 
to be named as toss so zero tail occurs when uh, we get head on both the both the tosses of the coin and one tail occurs when there are when we get the tail and head and head and tail so we have tail and head and head and tail over here and then two two tails occur when there uh, when we get tails on both the uh, tosses now it's now it will be easy for me to calculate the possibility to calculate the probabilities from this therefore the probability of outcome because uh, i'm having i'm having uh, 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 in this case i'm having four possible outcomes and uh, and the one tail is occurring by the two possible outcomes out of the four therefore its probability is going to be 50 percent however in these two scenarios have the probability of only 20 percent 25 percent because they are going to share the the rest of the 50 percent now the total types the total number of the outcomes that number of t's that can occur 0 1 and 2 among the 0 we have just one one type of a possibility that's head and head so it will take the probability of 0.25 because among the four one has one before is the probability of 0.25 and they have there are two basic possibilities of getting one head so this will take the possibility of 2 by 4 that is 0.50 and this takes the possibility of there's a one possibility of getting tails on both the tosses therefore its probability is 0.25 now this over here is known as the probability distribution uh, so now uh, we can we can also make up the uh, uh, up the probability distribution we can also make up the graph from this and say for example I take it like this uh, now over here I take the number of tails number of tails so the number of tails are 0 one and two taking the same data and the associated probabilities are 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 so the zero has a possibility uh, of 25 percent one has a 50 percent probability and this is 0 0.25 so this is the probability distribution of the number of tails when we uh, when we uh, toss the coin twice now uh, I'll be talking about the uh, types of uh, probability distributions types of probability distribution now um, the probability distributions they are uh, either the discrete probability distribution or the continuous probability distribution so I have discrete uh, and continuous probability distribution so the discrete and the continuous probability distribution now let me first talk about the about this discrete probability distribution now the discrete probability distribution uh, in the discrete probability distribution the variable under consideration is restricted to take only the limited number of values so the variable is going to take is going to take uh, a limited number of values now uh, say for example uh, uh, we talk about the possibilities of the uh, votes that a political candidate will get in an election now uh, say for example uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the the different types of the possible values that uh, that the votes can take is about 1000 say for example 2000 3000 so these values are completely fixed so uh, uh, in in this case this type of a variable this type of the probability distribution that will be found from these vari this variable will be a discrete probability uh, distribution now uh, uh, in a similar case uh, we will, we can talk about uh, the birth dates or the birth months 
Now, uh, the person can be either be born in January, in February, in March, and so on. But the birth months are list restricted to twelve months only. Now, the twelve since the birth months are restricted to twelve, therefore the birth months this variable a birth month can take the values values only up to the twelve from one to twelve because the there is a restriction. There's a restriction on the uh, on the uh, uh, number of months because there are only twelve months. So the restri this restriction makes the probability distribution a discrete one. In this in this similar scenario over here, say for example, we have the population, and the based on the population, there is a restricted number of the voters who can vote for this political candidate. So these type of these type of the distributions become the a. Mm, uh, discrete probability distribution. Now, on the other hand, we have this uh, continuous probability distribution. Now, uh, the uh, in this case, the variable is allowed uh, uh, to take any value. Take any value in a given range. So in a given range. So in this case, the variable is allowed to take any of the value in the uh, particular range. So now, uh, 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 so in this case, uh, uh, it is not possible. It is not possible uh, to list all the possible values now uh, suppose uh, 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 for example we are uh, we are uh, examining the uh, uh, industry by uh, uh, say for example the level of industry by the level of effluents A few lint it produces. So what we are doing, we are analyzing the industries by the uh, uh, few lint uh, it's going to produce. So uh, uh, now, uh, since uh, th these these affiliates that the industry produces uh, can take up the, so in this case it will be. Uh, quite evident uh, for this industry to take the enormous level of values uh, from the low levels to the high levels. So in this case it will be very difficult uh, 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 to list all the possible outcomes that this industry uh, uh, is producing as a part of the uh, uh, as a part of the uh, level of the effluents it produces.